One out, one in. Lewis Nielsen leaves Hearts on loan and Kusuke Tagawa officially joins the club. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland TV. Finally, we have our man. Finally, Tagawa is a Hearts player. But this deal felt like it took a long time to get over the line. And that's kind of because it did take a long time. We've been on the fair just signing... Kiyosuke Tagawa for at least a week now, but finally it looks like that work permit has been completed. It is official. The move is official and we bring in another forward, another attacking player into the club. He joins from FC Tokyo and we needed this. Because we did lose Humphreys at the end of last season. We didn't get to renew that loan deal then. Josh Ginelli didn't renew his contract. We lost two good, important attacking players, in my opinion. I was sad to see both of them go. I would have liked to have kept them both, especially Ginelli, but it wasn't to be. Now we need to get reinforcements in. And let's hope Tagawa can be a very good reinforcement. He will join the club alongside his Japanese compatriot, Oda. And I was very impressed with Oda to Towards the end of last season. So let's hope that Tagawa can be even better. Now Hearts did release a statement after announcing the signing of the uh, Japanese international forward Tagawa from FC Tokyo. This is what they had to say. Quote. The 24-year-old moves to Tynecastle Park on a four-year deal for an undisclosed six-figure fee, subject to international clearance, capped at every level of Japan's national side from under-17s up to the full national team. Kyoksuk boasts fast J-League experience as well as season on loan in Portugal's top flight. He made his J-League debut for Sagan Toso in 2017 and would go on to score 8 goals and 59 appearances before making the move to FC Tokyo in 2029. Uh, 2019 even. Sorry, he's not a time traveller. He's not from the future. I wish he was, but he's not. After 79 appearances and 10 goals in the capital, he would spend last season on loan Portuguese outfit CD Santa Clara where he scored 7 goals and 42 appearances. Kiyosuk's talents have been recognised on the international arena too, capped for Japan's under-17s, under-18s and under-19s. He was selected for the 2017 Under-20s World Cup in South Korea. He featured twice as Japan reached the knockout stage but were eliminated by Venezuela. Multiple, multiple caps for Japan's under-21s and under-23s followed before he received a first call-up for the full national team where he would go on to score once in two appearances. Kiyosuk now joins his compatriot Yutoro Oda at Hearts to continue his footballing journey at Tencastle. Speaking to the official Hearts website, head coach Frankie McAvoy said, We've been targeting a forward for a while now, so we're delighted to get Kiyosuk in. He's scored goals in Japan and Portugal and for the national team, and we believe he can come in and do the same for Hearts. Having Yutaro here will definitely help him set one quickly, and we're looking for him to hit the ground running which he's more than capable of doing. Technical director Stephen Naismith said Kyogook is a talented player and you just need to look at his rise through the ranks of Japan's national setup. For proof of that, he can play in all forward positions, so his addition gives us some top quality squad depth. The squad is now beginning to take shape and everyone is looking forward to welcoming him, Kyosuk and starting the season positively. Sporting director Joe Savage said we're delighted to get this deal done and bring Kielsuk to Hearts. These types of transfers can take a lot of time and work so I have to thank everyone involved for making it happen. We've had success in the Japanese market with Yutoro, so when the chance came up to bring in Kiyosuk's talents to Tenkasa, we jumped at it because he's an exciting player and one we feel will improve our squad. Our supporters have really taken to Yutaro and I'm sure they will do the same with Kiyosuk. End of quote. So that was the statement for Hearts. Uh, we heard from pretty much everybody. Frankie McAvoy, heard from Naismith, heard from Savage. And everyone seems delighted that we've got Kiyosuk Tagawa confirmed at the club. Hopefully he can hit the ground running. I can't say too much. I've never seen the guy play. I'm not going to pretend like I know. 
who he is or I've seen his games. I'm not going to do that, but what I am going to do is I'm going to look at the stats and I'm going to look at the fact that he has played at every single possible level for Japan. That shows that he's got quality. It shows that he's came up the ranks and it shows that he's continued to impress. He hasn't got to a certain level where he's just capped off at. You know, he, he keeps moving up under 17s, under 18s, under 19s, under 21s, under 23s. So this isn't a guy who's looked good for a year and then disappeared. He continues to look good. He continues to get better and he's continued to move up the ranks. Now his goals doesn't exactly blame, blow me away. When you look at his goal stats, it's not the greatest goal tally record we've ever seen, but I think he's more of an attacking player rather than your classic centre forward. So that could mean just playing anywhere up front. Maybe he can switch. He can play as a target man. Maybe he can play as a centre forward. Maybe he can play as a number nine. Maybe he can play as a winger. Inside forward. You name it. Maybe this guy can do it. I'm not exactly sure of his favourite position. But I don't think we need to worry about the goals. He might not be you know, your recognised goal scorer. Your 20 goal a season goal scorer. And to be honest we don't need that. We've got Lauren Shankland but what we do need is good players up in the attacking areas with Shankland and I'm hoping that Kiyosuk can be that one so I'm so excited for the start of the new season guys great to get Kiyosuk in I doubt we'll get any more players in before the start of the season we've only got a couple more days now but I'd love Kiyosuk to take part in the opening game will it happen who knows? But we need to go off to a good start. We need to put last season behind us. And with the last couple of weeks, I'm not going to lie, I was panicking through this transfer window. The lack of signings was beginning to get on my nerves. But the last couple of weeks have been good. And uh, hopefully we've got a few more to do before the transfer window ends at the end of August. Anyway, guys, that's it for Son of Scotland TV. Let me know your thoughts down below. Out of all the signings so far, this is the one that excites me the most. And I think that's that, that's probably, uh, you know, when you look at it, it's a natural reaction considering this is an attacking player that we're saying. Attacking players tend to be the ones that you care more for, tend to be the ones that get you more excited because they are up the attacking end of the pitch and that's where goals come from. But no, I, I just have a feeling that this could be a really good player for us. And, and I hope I'm right. I hope he turns out to be good. Undisclosed six-figure fee. What exactly is that? We don't know, but it's good that we've got him on a four-year deal, and I hope he has a lot of successful years at heart. So that's it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Being South Scotland TV, let me know your thoughts down below. Cannot wait now. Buzzing for the start of the season, and we will have uh, some prediction feds coming out over the next 48 hours. Anyway, guys, catch you later. Till next time. Peace.